Madam Can Speaker, I I'm pleased to yield two minutes to the gentleman from North Dakota, Mr. Armstrong. Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I was in Minneapolis the Saturday that speech was given. So to say that it was an analogous is, I think, fairly uncertain. The entire town was a tinderbox. And so as we continue to move through this, I would appreciate a little less of the self-righteous indignation because what is really damaging here and what is really unfortunate is that we've abandoned any recognition of institutional integrity, any pretense of fairness, any notion that some things should be above partisanship. Because I got news, and I, I believe this, what I thought was said in Minneapolis doesn't rise to incitement of violence. Jury tampering possibly, irresponsible, absolutely. The same thing goes with this post. It was dumb, it was silly, it was stupid, it was mean-spirited, but you know what it's not? It's not incitement of violence. And when we use hyperbole in those words, we cause ourselves problems. But there's no point in attempt with the majority at this point to follow through on any rules or procedures. The US House of Representatives looks more, significantly more like a junior high lunchroom than a legislative body. If you're on our clique, you're okay. If not, tough. If we like you, no fines. If we don't, we'll take it out of your paycheck. A member on, our si a member on your side calls for violence, motion to table. A member on our side, stand in the well and answer for your sins. Rules matter, process matters, the institution matters. And this will be the fourth member of the minority stripped of their committees by the majority this Congress. That has never happened before, but it's gonna happen again. And that's what I don't understand. I understand completely why, why the majority's leadership is willing to do anything to maintain control over the caucus until the next election. But in the process, you are all negatively and permanently changing the way this body functions forever. You are weaponizing the gavel against minority members. And if you think it stops at the next election, I have no doubt that the leadership in the majority has no intention of going back to being a rank and file member in the minority. But the rest of you all will. And how do you think this ends? When the pendulum swings, and it will, you are all going to suffer, we're gonna suffer the consequences. Gentlelady. I yield an additional 30 seconds. Gentlemen's recognized for 30 seconds. And the institution's going to suffer for it. And it's already suffering for it. Committee structure, scheduling hearings, witness lists, these are all purviews of the majority. But rules of conduct and decorum have been applied equal, have to be e applied equally to all members, or the institution continues to aggrade. And the rules are not being applied equally. And it's noticed by us, it's noticed by the American people, it's unfortunate, and it's sad. And with that, I yield back.